hello family welcome once again and god bless you all in jesus Christ's name if you're coming in for your first time you're welcome shantali kaber is my name and always i come to you with the word of the lord and the prophetic and also we do prayers here on this channel so today i want to share with us something that has been on my heart and i pray that it goes a long way to bless someone um it has to do with laziness and prayerlessness this has really been on my heart and so i just want to let someone know that laziness is very dangerous prayerlessness is very dangerous please avoid it at all costs if you can avoid it avoid it if you can run away from it run away from it the bible says resist the devil and he shall flee you know the devil represents a lot of things it may not just be a spirit or a physical person but there are many things that comes with his personality and laziness is part of that resist laziness and it shall flee from you it shall flee it's very dangerous you know i used to be very very lazy without knowing personally i was very lazy without knowing i felt like i was doing the right thing i felt like i needed not to do more i was on points and you know everything was going on well but i was lazy until the lord encountered me and helped me to become more consistent and helped me to become more productive and diligent i never knew how lazy i was until that happened i was you know always always thinking that i am not lazy i am on track and so that is what happens with some of us we may want better results more powerful results mind-blowing results that we are not equating our hard work to what we want to our visions to our dreams and god is saying at this time that please if you want to see what you're asking him for also equate your work with it work with him diligently diligence is the opposite of laziness the bible says god is a rewarder of day or those who diligently seek him he's a rewarder of those who diligently not just those who seek him but those who diligently and diligence is the opposite of laziness and so when you reward when you serve god diligently he begins to reward you god promotes diligence in everything you do not just in your prayer life not just in your spiritual walk with him but in life in general as a person god promotes diligence and excellence god wants us to have an excellent spirit the bible said daniel heart an excellent spirit he had an excellent spirit and I'm praying to God for that also for us all. Daniel had an excellent spirit. Laziness um, actually limits us. It limits our growth. It limits our blessings. That is how dangerous it is. It limits us. It limits our opportunities. That is what laziness does. And some of the causes of laziness has to do with um, procrastination and excuses. You know, when it's time to do something, you procrastinate or you start giving yourself excuses. Sometimes just get up and do it. Don't tell yourself, I'll do it in an hour's time or I'll do it in 30 minutes. I'll do it in two hours time. Just get up and do it. Be active. Hallelujah. And when it comes to excuses, stop giving yourself excuses. Excuses are limitations. Excuses are limitations when you keep telling yourself oh i cannot do this because my body is not able i'm dysfunctional and all of that you are prophesying those things into your life yes you may be dysfunctional in one way or the other but please because of what the word of god says and because of what god requires from us don't confer such don't proclaim such declare you are able the bible says in philippians chapter 4 and verse 13 i can do all things through christ who strengthens me so you are able through christ you are able through christ and you can do all things it says all things hallelujah and it's through the ability that christ gives to you and he's giving you an idea ability god doesn't want us to be lazy these are the consequences of laziness let me read to you a scripture matthew chapter 25 from verse 24 then he who had received one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered. Then I was afraid and went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, you wicked and lazy servant. 
lazy servants and so laziness is also associated sometimes with wickedness you wicked and lazy servant because he was wicked to his master and the bible says you knew that i reap where i have not sown and gather where i have not scattered seed so you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers my god and at my coming i would have received back my own with interest at least you should have done something. God does not love for us to be lazy because it provokes stagnation. When you do nothing with the little he's given to you, it is going to remain like that. Nothing will change. Nothing will add to it. This is what happened. Therefore, take the talent from him and give it to him who has ten talents. So the one was taken from the servant and it was given to the person who had ten talents. The Bible said in this story, there was a man who traveled and before traveling, he distributed talents to his servants gave 10 to some some of them some of them received five and and there was one he gave one to this one did nothing with it meanwhile the ones who received more they worked hard to multiply it and when this man came back from his journey he asked them what he had given to them and the bible said this man with one talent had nothing extra to give back to him and this man was telling him i know you i know you to be a man who likes to reap from where he has not sown and the Bible says, for to everyone who has, more will be given and he will have abundance. But from he who does not have, even what he has will be taken away. From him who does not have, even what he has will be taken away. Now, this has to do with, someone can feel like Jesus is mean here. He's not being mean. He's encouraging us to be productive. He's encouraging us to be diligent. Hallelujah. He's not encouraging laziness. He's encouraging us to be faithful with what, with what we are giving. The Bible says when you are faithful with the little, he's going to multiply it and you're going to have more. The Bible also says in the book of Revelation that he's going to spit out those who are lukewarm. And so he wants us to be either hot or cold you have to be one of those he's not encouraging laziness in any way god doesn't want us to be lazy he wants us to be productive has he given you something begin to make good use of it has he given you a gift begin to work on it has he given you a calling or has he called you sorry begin to work on your calling don't sit and just wait for a manifestation to happen you have to work you have to work with the lord just imagine that the people who wrote down the word in the, in the bible had you know sat quietly maybe they received revelations and they just kept it to themselves we shouldn't have known what the bible um you know is talking about we shouldn't have known everything that we know today but because they were not lazy because they served him diligently they were rewarded the bible said isaac sowed he sowed it means we have to sow hallelujah and so i'm encouraging someone don't be lazy don't be lazy. Get up and begin to work. Hallelujah. That's how you begin to see your manifestations. The Bible says you are able and remind yourself every day that you are able. Don't allow your flesh to limit you. The flesh will always war against the spirit. If your flesh is saying something else and your spirit is contradicting that, go with the flow of your spirit. Allow the spirit to flow and you are going to see changes. Laziness is very dangerous. When you're lazy, you're delayed. When you're lazy, you're stuck when you're lazy even the little you have will be taken away from you as we have seen in the bible don't be lazy god bless you thank you for joining i love you so much i pray you're encouraged and strengthened by this word in jesus name amen please don't forget to like the video and share also